Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. Okay, before I get started, I wanted to talk to you about what I want to accomplish in this kitchen in the new year. There are a couple of dishes, foods that I have not tried to make yet that I definitely want to. One thing on my wish list for 2022 is lamb. The other one is turkey. Now, I know I, I really definitely want to try something with turkey, but that's going to come at a later date. Both of them will. But tonight, I get to try something that I've been wanting to work with. Another one on my wish list, and that is fish. Yes, I'm going to make a very good fish dish for my family. But before I do that, I want to make our side dishes that I'm going to have with dinner. So... That is going, our side dishes today will be our um, uh, very classic um, rice dish, rice pilaf. I am also going to make what I call broccoli three. I will explain what broccoli three and our fish dish will be in a few minutes. But first, I want to start with my rice pilaf. For this, I have the following ingredients. Butter olive oil. In here are onions that I have diced up. Chicken broth, which will be mixed with salt and some cayenne pepper. And in this food, di in this baking dish is about two cups of jasmine rice. That's all I need. So, first order is Take out this pot, take my pot. Put this stick of butter in, as well as some olive oil. That should do it. Now we're gonna put this on a medium heat. It's about a four. Now, we're gonna get that butter melted and then we're gonna saute our onions into them, into it. So, come with me, let's get you guys over to our stove. There you go. Woohoo! I always wanted to do that. Okay, so. Now our butter is currently starting to melt. And once we add, um, now the onions, when we add them in, we wanna get them past translucent. We wanna get them a little golden color. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, we are not gonna need any more butter. So I'm going to go put this back for the time being. Okay. As I said, right now we are currently waiting on that butter to melt. I should also tell you, I'm currently preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Once all the ingredients are in my rice pilaf, the, um, I will cover it with a sheet of aluminum foil and place it in the oven, 350 degree oven for 35 minutes.
No, this is not my scrambled eggs. I'm just moving it around to see if I can get that butter uh, closely melted. It's almost there. So I'm going to open up our onion. Yes, our butter is ready to go. So we're gonna add our onion into our butter. Start mixing that up into the butter mixture, butter and oil mixture. We want to get these past translucent and we want to get them as more of a golden color than a clear color. So that's going to go and do that. All right, guys. So I have uh, cooked down our onions past translucent and they're the right consistency that I want. So take a look at them. That is our onions mixed with butter and and olive oil. So now I can kill the heat. Bring you guys right over here for a minute. I'm gonna get a rubber placemat here. In here is about two cups, a little more than two cups of, of jasmine rice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our onion, butter, and our olive oil, pour it, onto our rice. Good. And we're gonna mix it in, getting all of the rice kernels coated with this onion, butter, and oil mixture. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do, let me move this over to the side. With our pot still housing that amazing flavor in it, we're gonna add chicken, chicken broth or chicken stock to it, to the pot. more there. And I'm going to hit this chicken, chicken broth with some salt. And a touch of cayenne pepper. Okay, a little more in a touch. Mix that all together. And put it back on our stove. We want to get this to a simmer. And we want it to simmer for about five minutes. Okay. Now, while I am waiting for the uh, for our chicken broth to come to a simmer, I can now start on my second side dish. Broccoli three. These are broccoli florets. They're gonna be the three in quotation marks. Now, why, why do I call it broccoli three? 
Well, because I'm going to cook it three different ways. Blanched, in which you put the broccoli florets in uh, boiling water for 30 seconds. Shocked. Shocking it by taking it immediately out. After 30 seconds, you take the broccoli out of the hot water and into ice water, which I have ready in my sink. What that does is it makes the color of the broccoli pop even brighter than it is and also increases the flavor of the broccoli. Then I'm going to saute our broccoli. So let me bring you guys back to the stove because right there is our rolling boil. I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds. We are going to take our broccoli, carefully put it in. Push them down into the water and oh, hit it for 30 seconds. Now I can rinse this off. I'll rinse the container out. Okay. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, kill the heat. And I'm now in the sink, I have a container of ice water. But first, I'm going to strain it, the broccoli, into a strainer here. Okay, now ice water in. Now you can let that sit in the water, the ice water for a bit. So I can get rid of uh, this pot as well as the strainer since we don't need that anymore. I'm going to turn up the heat on my uh, stock, on my broth, so I can, uh, uh, so it gets boiling a little, moving a little faster. Okay, great. Okay, so now, so now I have here a pan that I'm going to use to saute our, um, our broccoli. So what I will do is I'm going to turn the heat up to a four on this, on this pan right here. I'm going to get out another small knob, knob of butter. Okay, and I definitely want to drain this. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to fish them out. Just like this. Oh. Okay, good, better. All right, so the water, ice water has been drained. I am currently getting 
are properly out of the ice that's there. And the colors definitely got brighter, that's for sure. Come here, you guys, for one quick second. Take a look at what our broccoli look like now. Much brighter than they were earlier. Okay, let me put you guys back down. I'm gonna lower the temperature of the stock because now I'll set it for five minutes. We're going to get our butter melted in this pan. I also want to hit this with a small amount of olive oil in there. Now. Once the butter in the in this is melted, I am going to throw in some uh, sliced garlic, then put the broccoli in, let that cook a little bit, then add the broccoli. Once the broccoli is in, cook it for a little while, and I'm going to stain it with some teriyaki sauce, gonna get some more flavor. And that will be broccoli three. Right now, our timer is going for 3 minutes, 55 seconds left for the stock. Now, once the stock is simmered enough, that is going to go right into our result, into our pilaf. Then it'll go into our oven once I wrap it. Okay. Our butter is starting to melt. And it's melted. Add our garlic in to our butter and olive oil. Okay, we're gonna let that cook that cook a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to add our broccoli in to our pot. Okay, so now we're going to get all of our broccoli together and start staining it with that ter delicious teriyaki sauce. Mm. 
It's mm. one minute left on the um, on the chicken broth. So, so, all right. So we're gonna let the so we're gonna let that cook. Probably turn the heat just a little bit on the broccoli. Okay. Okay, 20 seconds left. So I'm gonna bring you guys back over to our counter. I'm gonna bring over our rice, which is, still has our, smells amazing thanks to the oil and butter and the onion. And that is our timer for our broth. So the heat is off, give it one final stir. Bring it over to our rice and pour that chicken broth into our rice. And mix it all together. That should do nicely. Okay. So now we are going to cover this with aluminum foil. Heavy duty aluminum foil. Make sure it is tight wrapped. Wrap it very tightly. All right, good. All right, now our rice pilaf is going to go into our oven, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. In she goes. Our broccoli is still cooking away, too. Timer is going. Broccoli still has a little bit of crunch, but it's flavorable, flavorful. Mm. So we're gonna let that go a little bit longer. The rice is cooking away. And now, um, while that's going, we're gonna step away for a bit. All right, guys, we are now 18 seconds away from our pulling our rice peel off out of the oven. So I have my oven mitts. Six seconds. Three, two, one. Mm. Okay. Now, here's the most important part about this. As of now, I just set a timer for 10 more minutes. Let the, the peel off rest. Do not touch it, do not peek at it, do nothing. Let this rest for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we will see what it looks like. Okay guys, we are now 20 seconds away from Revealing our rice pilaf. So let me put you guys down. It's not as hot as it was when it came out of the oven, so we're good. Six seconds. Three, two, one. Let's shut the timer off. 
All right. I remember making this once in culinary school and burning it. So let's see if we did better this time. Oh yeah. Now, oh, that smells so good. So now you take a fork and start fluffing up your rice pilaf. Every strand of rice is not sticking together. This is perfect. Look at that. Yeah, it even looks like on onions floated up to the top of it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, let me give this a shot for you guys. Move that over. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're gonna take our rice. We're gonna move it over. Cause now it's time to cook the main event. All right guys, our side dishes are completely finished for our dinner. So let me show you one more time. This is our rice risotto and our broccoli three. Rice risotto has, was, was cooked perfectly. And so is our broccoli three. Remember, this was blanched, shocked, and then sauteed. Before I end this, let me give you a show you one of the broccoli florets. Might as well try it in front of you. Cheers. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm-hmm. All right, guys. That was our rice risotto and broccoli three. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Also be sure to leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is Jeremy saying, Bon Appetit.